Welcome everyone, here is how you transfer data from your iPhone to any model of the Samsung Galaxy. In order to transfer data either on the setup screen, you can head over to the copy apps and data page. If you've already set up, what you will need to do is you will need to download the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile from Google Play. And once you've done that, when you open up the app, you need to allow the Smart Switch permissions and then you need to tap on receive data and then you should be brought to a similar screen. If we are on the setup screen, we just tap on next. And now it says use your old device. You need your old Android, iPhone or iPad device. So we're gonna tap on next again for this. It's going to say get started with the smart switch. Let's allow the permissions. And then we see here, select a source. You should see the same screen if you're using the Smart Switch app from the Google Play. So we're just going to select the iPhone slash iPad here. And now it says connect to iPhone or iPad. So in my case, I need an adapter for this. This is because if I get the charging cable for my iPhone, the charging cable is USB type A. And then on the other end, the cable is lightning so I can connect the lightning part into the iPhone but in order to connect the USB type A part I need an adapter which converts USB type A into USB type C. If you have a USB C to lightning cable you do not need any adapter and if you don't have an adapter you will need to buy one from Amazon. They should only cost three pounds, three dollars. They're very cheap. So once you have done this on the iPhone, head over to the home screen. And we just need to trust the connection by entering our password. Once you've trusted the connection, you can tap on next. And now it's going to connect to transfer your data over. And you're gonna notice here, it's blocked me from continuing, it needs to be at 60% battery, which is excellent. So it's skipped past the smart switch. So you need to go back here, charge to really 80% because it will give another error later. So I'm gonna to charge to 80% and then uh, let's proceed. So now when we tap on next, we're gonna have the searching for data to transfer message. And so it's just going through the files on your iPhone, seeing what can be transferred. So these are all of the options here. Calls and contacts, messages, apps, data from iPhone apps, which half the time will not work. Settings, home screen, images, video, audio, and documents. If we tap on find out what data can't be transferred, you can see the FaceTime and voice call history can't be transferred. Messages with the iMessage effects, emergency alert messages, lock notes can't be transferred. And if you're using a default wallpaper on your home screen, that cannot be transferred either. If you're wondering about WhatsApp, WhatsApp have a feature in their app where they can do the data transfer for you. So if you do have WhatsApp on the iPhone, the Samsung will detect this and it will give you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to transfer. If it does not give you the step-by-step -step instructions, it should link you to a website, which will. And if it doesn't, there will be a video in the description on how to transfer the WhatsApp if you need to use that. So you just need to scroll to the bottom like this. So you see the transfer button. So I'm just going to tap on the transfer button here. And it says turn on Wi-Fi. I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to use cellular data. So now it's going to ask me to sign into my Google account and do some extra setup. So I'm going to do that now. So now once we sign into the Google, you can just choose all these options here. And now it's going to ask for the apps we would like to transfer. So it's just going to scan your iPhone and just take a look at what we have installed. So you can see it has detected 77 apps like this. 
These apps, of course, will come from the Google Play. So we'll just tap on the install here and then transfer WhatsApp chats. You can see these are the step by step instructions. I will have a separate video on this because uh, I'm going to tap on don't transfer. But what you do on the iPhone, you open up the camera. You see the QR code. We're just going to scan this trying to get that QR code to get scanned. There we go. You see open and WhatsApp. You tap on that and then follow the on screen instructions. So I'm going to tap on don't transfer. And now it's going to start the transferring of data. The data is now transferring in the background and we just need to finish setting up while the transfer is going on. Once we are on the home screen here, you're going to notice that there's no photos, nothing is really transferred. So we just need to now open up the smart switch application and you can see it's now doing the data transfer. I recommend you just tap on keep screen on and just wait for all of the information from the old iPhone to be transferred over to your new Samsung S23 Ultra. So with that being said, cheers for watching. If you want to help support the channel, please do check the description. Many ways to do so.